Hey guys, what's up? My phone's actually fixing to die. I've got like 15%. Great, I make videos the most awesome times. <laughs> and not to mention, my hair is absolutely crazy. I'm gonna have to go in for a root touch up. I don't know, I might be able to push it out like another week. No, maybe, maybe two or three. Two or three maybe, yeah, okay. Uh, it don't matter, it don't matter. <laughs> um. Anyways, sorry guys, it has been a wild ride uh, with the, like I've been watching the weather and I have decided to, me and my husband have decided to take on a project of finally making the house work better for us. Um, I don't know what to do with this piece of hair. I guess I'll just do that. Um, so I've literally been, we've been, you know, re reorganizing. It's been crazy. We're close to being done, but not quite there yet. Um, we're going to have to take a little bit of a, we had to take a little bit of a break on that because I had to do storm prep today. Um, we're finally getting a big storm system moving through here. I have watched several videos. Um, uh, it surprises me though that the National Weather Service has not put out a tornado thing yet but with the weather it is like 80 degrees outside but that wind is freezing cold so <laughs> it's almost like you don't need a sweater going outside but yet because that that freezing cold temperature like hits your skin and it sends chills down you're like okay I need a sweater so I'm I'm excited to first first weather weather and weather for the bleh, can't even see can can't even talk. I'm ready for that fall temperatures the snuggle. Okay, I live in sweaters all year round. Like what are we talking about? What princess? I'm almost done, baby. <laughs> Guys, if you hear her talking in the background, I'm sorry. She's been chatterbox lately. She crazy. Ugh. So, just a lot of things going on. So, if you live in the Texas, Oklahoma area, be prepared for possible tornadoes um, with this weather that's coming. With these high winds and everything else. Like, I'm not making these predictions. These are just videos that I've watched that I'm giving you a summary of. Um, we're fixing to get the rain that we need. Like, yay, rain! The deer are going to love it. So, bring on the rain. Um, but I've been, uh, from what I've heard from the different, different sources that pretty much say the exact same thing, high flooding damaging winds of 80 no not 80 oh my gosh we could get up to 80 but only if you're in like the higher elevations we're looking at a range between 60 and 70 miles an hour winds so just make sure you're prepared for that and like be prepared for flash flooding we are supposed to get hammered with rain so i'm super excited about that but i'm also like okay We've also got to watch out for tornadoes because you can definitely walk outside and you're like, it's like you can smell the tornado weather in the air. It's perfect. It's 80 degrees. That wind with that cold front that's coming in is freezing cold. You can feel the cold from the wind and the warmth in the air. It's like, it is perfect tornado weather, you guys. Perfect. Which is kind of scary because we, we watched Twister last night and we're probably going to watch it again. So I'm probably going to be like on edge with this tornado weather. Crazy that this is a thing. Um, I know I'm talking about the weather and stuff. Usually I come on here and I'm talking about my experiences and how I feel about Jesus and everything else. But one thing I want to make, like, 
a reference to now that I got on that. You know, no matter what storms we face, Jesus is always in control. Jesus has always got our back. So, if you're in the path of these storms, to, on and like t coming in tonight and tomorrow, so it's be all day tomorrow. So there's tornado potential from tonight into tomorrow. We're not supposed to get storms here until around midnight, I think. So I think we're good. I just have to do some last minute prepping, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. And just got to get all my store prep done. Um, but when I was watching Twister the other night, like, my mind, it was sad because it was like, Twister is based on a true story. And apparently it was actually filmed in Oklahoma with actual tornadoes. So that in itself is scary. Are you, are you growling at me? Come here. Come on. Oh, I love this girl so much. She is just my beautiful princess. Come here. Come on. Hup. I talk. Girl. She's like, Mom, I don't want to talk. You want to go outside? All right. I'm going to let her outside real quick. Come on. Come on, beautiful. Sorry about that, y'all. I would have paused it, but my camera is literally like down to like less than 10% right now. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, my dog's been barking at the wind. The wind's been crazy. It's nice. They bark at everything. The deer are coming in closer, so they're yelling at them. It's it's all insane. <laughs> um, so anyways, like I was saying. I may not remember this correctly, but I was watching Twister and it literally came to my mind that we go through storms and one, one scene in particular uh, that always gets me every time, but just last night when we were watching Twister, they were... They, it was the scene right before, okay, so you know in the movie, if you've seen the movie Twister, you know how they're at the movie theater, the, they're like, oh, the tornado's coming. No, the tornado's here. They're yelling at everybody to get underground and all this. And then after all that, after that, they got swiped swapped by that tornado, they said it's going to hit, you know, hit head on to this. I forgot what that town was called, but apparently, you know, they had family in there. So they were worried and they went. And as they were driving through this town that was seen previously in the movie. And they seen all these families just outside hugging their loved ones and realizing that everything's gone. And knowing that some people are probably dead because of this tornado. The lady kept saying... They were not warned. There was no warning system. There was no warning to get to safety. And it just made me think, like, we are warning people. We're telling people, like, hey, this is coming. You need to be prepared for the rapture. And... Some people are going to miss the warning signs. They're not going to be prepared. They're not going to be prepped for it. They're not going to seek the shelter 
which is in our Lord. They're not going to give their lives to the Lord. They're not going to have any protection. And the rapture is going to come without warning. And they're going to be in that predicament like, oh, we had no warning. We didn't know this was coming. And then they're going to wake. A lot of people are going to wake up and realize like, Oh, we did have warning, but we chose to ignore that. And we asked people to not even preach or talk to us or say anything related to the gospel. Any, anything to do with the rapture. And you end up being this person that decides, okay, they're accepting me for me. They know I love the Lord. And they're not going to be mad if I put scriptures on the wall. They're not going to be mad if I leave Bibles around the house. They're not going to be mad if I, you know, talk, talk indirectly about Jesus. But they're going to be mad if I talk directly to them about Jesus. And about the rapture and the warning that the Antichrist is coming and tribulation and stuff like that. So... Like, there is a warning. Just like we're being warned. Like, some people don't want to put out the warning. Some people don't want to hear the warning. Some people don't want to see the warning. But we are being warned. We know the rapture is coming. We don't know the day, time, or hour in which the rapture will occur. No man does. And no man needs to try to predict that. All we can do is be ready and tell people it's coming. And we want them to go with us. That's all we can do. All we can do is leave Jesus' legacy behind. And hopefully with them having ears and brains, hopefully they'll remember the words, do not take the mark of the beast. Turn your life to Jesus. This is not alien. This is the rapture of the church. The rapture of God's people. The rapture of people who have a relationship with Jesus. People that have given their life to the Lord. So, as I prepare for this storm, which may or may not produce a tornado. I really hope it doesn't, but I'm really hoping for a lot of rain. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog, like, he's knocking on the door. I'm letting him stay outside. He is fine. He can wait, like, another two seconds for me to finish this video. He does this game all the time. Like, I'll go to it, and then he'll run off. And then I'll come back inside. He'll knock on the door. I'll come back to the door, and then he'll want in, and he'll want right back out. So, I'm just going to leave him out there. It's fine. Like, <laughs> Tomorrow or late tonight, they'll get their really cute raincoats on that I just bought them because, you know, they're spoiled. But, you guys, stay safe. And, um, hopefully this video will go up very quickly. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.